In this multiple choice question, we're given a point A, 2 and 1, that is on an original graph of f of x. Now the graph is horizontally stretched about the y-axis and translated so that the new graph passes through this point 8 and 1. The equation of the new function is given in the form y equals f of m x minus 2. We want to know the value of m. So how I would approach this question is I would look at the equation and come up with the mapping notation. So looking at this, this is your horizontal stretch factor. So I know that it has horizontally been stretched, now remember horizontal lies, by a factor of 1 over m. When I have x minus 2, again remember horizontal lies, I know it's been horizontally translated two units to the right. So in terms of my mapping notation, all of my original points x, y are going to be horizontally stretched by a factor of m and then moved two units right. y values will stay the same because nothing has happened vertically. So my original point 2 and 1 will be translated to be x divided by m plus 2 and y, which is 1. And I can see that my y value does, in fact, stay the same. So if I end up having this value here equaling to 8, let's figure out what m would be. So x over m plus 2 is going to equal to 8. Now I know x, the original point, is 2, so I can algebraically solve this. So 2 over m plus 2 equals to 8. Subtract 2 from both sides, and I get 2 divided by m equals to 6. So to solve this algebraically, I could just multiply both sides by m, and I would get 2 equals 6m, and divide both sides by 6. So I know m is 2 over 6, or in lowest terms, will be 1 over 3. So I know that is the answer. Alternatively, you could just substitute all of the values of the multiple choice options for m into that mapping notation and see which one works.